Welcome back everyone, Sweet Battle Scars here, and I am back with another unboxing video. Today we're gonna look at the Sculptures Big Budokai 5 Raditz figure by Ben Presto. This is another entry in the series of the new Sculptures Big uh, Budokai 5 figures. And as always, here are the figures in the series. This time, of course, we're looking at Raditz. Very nice figure of Raditz. I'm, uh, this is another uh, figure I mainly was excited about Bardock. But uh, I also saw that once they released this, I saw that they had a Raditz figure. And of course, uh, as with Nappa and Bardock, I do not have a Raditz figure in my collection. So I was happy to uh, uh, get this for my collection as well. So uh, very nice presentation here as, uh, as far as the box goes. It's exactly the same as the other boxes, except with uh, Raditz here in the spotlight. So let's get this figure out of the box. And I think I will be keeping my boxes for these uh, figures. Uh, I like the boxes a lot. I like the way that it, the figures are presented. And of course, I like the back of it. Uh, they present the figures in pairs. So we have Nappa and Raditz there. And I, I think I will be displaying those together as well. Uh, since they make a nice pair. Uh, you know, on the shelf. Raditz and Nappa. So here we go. And right out of the box, we get Bubble Wrap. Let's get everything out of the plastic. First and foremost, we have the massive, massive torso. As you guys can imagine, just like Super Saiyan 3 hair, the Reddit's hair is bulky and massive. As you can see here, uh, if the Nappa figure was heavy, this is even heavier because of all the plastic that they've... Uh, the, of course, they had to use to sculpt the hair for uh, Raditz. And uh, it's very bulky, very, very massive. A lot of plastic in there, but uh, it turned out very nicely. Very nice uh, cast there of the hair. Uh, you guys can get a close-up. It's very cool to look at. So there is Raditz. This is the torso. And now... You have his legs with the tail. It's not he's not like Nappa, he doesn't have his tail wrapped around his waist. So his tail is out and about. And we have a nice little clean base here. No extra supports for him. He is another bulky figure, so he doesn't really need any supports. So let's get the figure assembled. Okay. Uh, these mechanical joints, as you guys can see, are very solid, so Take some effort to get them in there at first, to get it together. But once you do, uh, it stays in there. There you go. Okay, I think I got it. There you go. Uh, so yeah, there is Raditz. Um, yeah, very awesome figure. I like Raditz a lot. I think they've, did, they've done a phenomenal job with uh, the sculpt and the pose. Uh, first impressions, uh, cast is pretty clean um, it's it's hard for the camera to pick up sometimes but uh, at times these figures will have a little bit of a flashing like along uh, you know the seam lines where the mold uh, was put together but not too bad on Raditz uh, we have a little bit of a line there but nothing too crazy on his armor you guys can see there there's a line right there I wish you know on a spot like this they would have cleaned it up a little more but uh, I guess I'm being nitpicky. You can't really see it all that much. Only if you're looking at the figure from uh, from above. Uh, anyway, as far as the paint job, we do have paint here. since Just like Nappa, since they're wearing a lot of armor or some armor on their torso. Uh, these parts here, the blue and the brown, are painted. This is uh, painted over uh, the white plastic here. The armor was cast in white plastic. And uh, as far as... Uh, Paint jobs, uh, not a lot of paint here. We have these, I don't know what they are, like ribbons or I don't know, some uh, bands, some elastic bands on his uh, arm and leg. And those are definitely paint. Uh, but they are painted in a nice, like, metallic red paint. Let me see if, uh, yeah, here you guys go. You guys can see a close-up of that. So it's like a red metallic paint. And some paint, some paint on his boots as well. And of course, his uh, face. Now, I didn't show you a detail of Nappa's Scouter, but here is Raditz's 
uh, scouter. And uh, let me tell you, the little figures, the little uh, characters that you see on on their visors uh, look very nicely done. I think those are decals. Uh, I don't think those are painted. They're very clean, so they must be decals, I'm assuming. But the paint job on the scouter here is uh, it's, uh, pretty nice on Raditz. I think it was a little sloppy on Nappa. I don't know if I can show you here. Uh, Nappa's is a... Yeah, the camera can't see it. It's a little... A little more sloppy on Nappas, but uh, the scouter on Raditz is very clean. Um, and of course, uh, we have the massive bulky hair in the back. Very Super Saiyan 3 of Raditz. Uh, I guess he probably saw Super Saiyan 3 at one point and decided that he wanted hair. Just like a Super Saiyan 3 Saiyan, but um, it's all in black, of course. And I don't think... Yeah, his hair... I don't think his hair is painted, yeah. I think it's just the uh, the pigmented plastic there. So I think his entire face is probably painted or it was probably assembled like this. But anyway, so uh, we're going to get the figure on the base. And let's see here. This is another one of those tricky situations because we have multiple pegs. We have two pegs on each leg and of course uh, it makes sense. This is a bulky figure so he needs a lot of support. Especially because of the hair. Oh, there you go. But it wasn't that difficult to get it, to get him uh, on the base, to get his feet on the pegs. I think I got it. There you go. There's one foot, and there is the other. So yeah, not difficult at all. Very, very nice and easy. So I really like his pose a little better. I like his pose a little better than uh, Napa's. Is what I want to say. Um, sometimes I lose my train of thought here, but. I got it back. So, um, yeah, I like his pose a little better than Nappa's, but uh, Nappa's pose isn't bad at all either. I'm going to bring Nappa into the mix here. And, I, yeah, like I said, I will be uh, displaying these together. I like the variation in color on their armors. So, as you guys can see, Raditz has uh, more of a brown color on his armor. And uh, Nappa has that uh, tan or beige color on his um, very nice uh, detail. I like that they kept those colors like that. Of course, uh, Nappa has his tail around his waist. Uh, Raditz has his, uh, you know, out and about, ready for battle. He should put it away, though, since we know that's his weakness. But uh, as far as uh, everything else goes, uh, it's a very solid figure. Uh, yeah, I'm really liking this pose. Really like this pose here. And uh, of course, I'm very glad that Van Presto decided to do a Raditz figure, just like they decided to do a Nappa and a Bardock figure. Very nice. So uh, there you guys go. I don't think I have anything else to say about this figure. Again, I mostly praise these figures just because I, I really do personally like them a lot. Uh, I think Ben Presto does a pretty good job with these. These are very, these are meant to be very inexpensive, uh, very plasticky figures. So don't expect a, a, like a super high quality polished uh, statues, like uh, you know those polystone statues that go for like uh, upwards of like a hundred, a hundred and fifty dollars. So don't, ex don't expect anything like that. But uh, these are these are very nice for their price range. Again, uh, when these are released, they go for about maybe twenty or. $25 depending on the figure so for that price these are very very awesome statues uh, I really don't think you can go wrong with these for that price range of course as they you know start selling selling out uh, their price will go up I have seen some uh, other entries in the Ban Presto series of uh, Dragon Ball figures that go for upwards of $70 as I've mentioned in one of my previous videos so uh, at first if you guys can if you can get these initially when they are just uh, released then uh, you will get a lot of bang for your buck uh, you know for $20 or $25 this fi these figures are excellent very nice figures and not to mention the fact that they are imported you know that uh, sellers on ebay and amazon will sell them um, here in the states because these are really just japanese figures they are distributed through those uh, crane machines uh, that's why we have that crane king logo on the boxes um so anyway um that's it for this unboxing video guys i want to thank you all so much for watching please comment like share and subscribe if you've enjoyed the video and stay tuned for the next unboxing video. See you guys next time.